Okay, let's jump down into the world of XRP, but review it on a macro scale. So this isn't something that is going to play out in the next 24 to 48 hours. This is something that I think is likely to play out over the next kind of several months or so. Okay, so this is a weekly chart for XRP. It's something that is going to uh, take a long time to play out. Okay, it's not a short term thing. Now, with that said, there's going to be some fantastic things that happen on the short term, in my opinion. You know, regarding the SEC versus Ripple, it's been bubbling around in the background for quite some time now. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting few months for sure. So let's jump right down into this view. We're going to be taking a look at where we currently sit with the price action and where I think things are going in the future. As I get into the video, if you find it useful, smash the like button. If you're new, subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later. And of course, if you're... Um, haven't yet joined us in Discord, what are you waiting for? Check it out. The link is in the description below. Right, let's get right down into the video. So XRP paired up with USDT on the one week time frame and Binance is the data source. Now, as you can kind of see, there's some interesting things and interesting developments that have been going on. Let's go ahead and just draw a trend line in here because I know people love a trend line. Um, so for now, we're probably going to have to draw it in here. OK, and we can see that we kind of tested these highs recently and then we got this breakout and this breakout, realistically speaking, is very important. Um, it really happens around uh, basically the judge say, saying that uh, XRP is not a security. OK, now that break to the upside happens to fall right in line. Let me go ahead and just remove uh, some of this because I don't need it on these timelines uh, and I don't need this one either. So let's go ahead and just remove those off of there as well. OK, so right here we can see that if we uh, take this move uh, here we can see that we have this three uh, or 0 0.382 level getting hit right uh, and that's really important we basically move up to the 38.2 and got rejected from it right away okay very very interesting stuff now that there in itself is basically the measurement distance between the peak and the low um, and it comes in at 38.2 percent so this particular area is of interest to me because not only did we kind of track that uh, i'm not sure if i've got the right chart here um actually i think it might be might be this one on the daily no on the weekly this is me being disorganized for you not uh not being organized at all yeah, here it is. Um, so this one here, you can see that we, we kind of predicted out the 79.91 to the 93.76. This was based on this move to the downside being a B wave and this being a C wave movement. Now, during this time, we were looking for a, a smaller C wave high a rejection and then another three wave count. So what I was looking for in here was essentially... Uh, a small move upwards and then a breakdown. So we were looking for something that would happen to be an A, would come down and then would go up into this. Um, but because of the news of uh, the judge basically saying that uh, the secondary market um, had no visibility on whether or not it was a security or not, that XRP is not a security, yada, yada, yada. Um, and essentially what that meant was this fantastic price action move to the upside here, hitting our target um, without the need of having that next kind of correction. So we hit the target just in a slightly different route than we would have expected to okay which is fantastic okay so we can see that that hit the target range that also happened to coincide with the 38.2 percent fib level okay now one of the things that's really interesting about everything that's going on here i'll bring this back to the weekly um, is that this area is also an area of heavy resistance okay this is the area that was basically rejecting price before this is where a lot of the sellers are and it also happens to be the case right now as well okay so for now this looks like we're going to be holding this up and looking for a move to the downside okay now from our weekly time frame here you can also see that we're up in the overbought range and we can be up here for a few weeks yet but essentially this will lead us into deeper price action now we are of course um on an overbought area on the monthly time frame as well again you can be up there for quite some time so i'm not too concerned about that the daily is looking primed for a move upwards uh, along with some of these smaller time frames but for for the most part our weekly is going to be looking for a move down the most obvious area is down here okay this area this area is basically between 55.2 and 55.6 cent and the reason for this this is a previous area of support that became a resistance we've broken through it and we're going to be looking to see if we can turn this uh, previous area into an area of demand okay i'm going to move this over to here that's kind of what we're hoping to see previous supply turning into demand okay so it's going to be interesting to see whether that plays out or not but 
that's kind of the most logical area that we'll be looking for retracement down towards. 60 cent would be my minimum expectations, uh, like trying to touch on that 60 cent range. Um, but for now, that's kind of where I think that's likely to go. Now, that means that I probably are done with the lows for now. Now, it's possible that we're not, but I think it's the most probable scenario to say that 28 was the bear market low point. Uh, that happened in June 2022. I completely lucked out uh, with a 30 cent buy order on Binance here, uh, which is a second wick low, uh, which you can see. <coughs> um, so I stacked up a, a nice amount of uh, XRP, fortunately enough, on this. I just had a buy order there just randomly. It was really weird. But it's something that Chris talks about all the time, just essentially put in these low orders and if they come in, they come in. And so, yeah, I filled up my bag there, which was great. And so I've seen very significant gains, fortunately enough. Now, it still means that if you've missed the boat, there's opportunity, but it's going to be probably a little bit higher. As I said, 55 to 59 cents seems to be the most likely area at the moment. It's not necessarily that's where it's going to land. Uh, it's just where I would expect to bounce. So for example, it might be that we bounce here and then we kind of push up and then we lose that again because I do think that Bitcoin is likely to go down to 20k and if Bitcoin goes down to 20k then I would expect XRP to come down and test maybe this low range down here around 41 cent and so it's always possible that that happens but we would know about that during this corrective structure if it is a corrective structure to the upside and that would then allow us to kind of predict out that next low point but for now because all we have to our or what we have available to us is this uh, essentially this is the area that is most likely to occur and then how price reacts here is going to determine whether or not we get that next move to the upside. But that means, you know, where is the next big macro movement to the upside? What does it look like? Well, that kind of shows us with this potential here. And we potentially have started this run upwards. You can see a three wave correction here for our B wave. That's looking great. We've had this initial run. We could see this move uh, coming down to like December 2020. This is obviously driven mainly from... Um, Jay Clayton dropping the lawsuit and then we ran up into the April 2021 highs right uh, for us here this could be the initial start we pull back and then we have this real good run ultimately we are looking for these highs between 557 and 1121 people are going to hate that but it is what it is people uh, unfortunately believe that XRP is going to be going um, you know to like ten thousand dollars or five hundred eighty nine dollars whatever it may be and they quote all the money in I want, I want to kind of stress a couple of logical points here um, that all the money doesn't necessarily mean uh, all of it's going to flow into XRP, right? There's a lot of money that is tied up in dormant bank accounts that the bank account, uh, banks have to have in lots of different countries. It's not used, right? And so the idea is that all that money just goes into cross-border payments, and that's not necessarily the case. Um, cross-border payments and essentially... How RippleNet needs to work is it needs a highly liquid market, and a highly liquid market doesn't necessarily mean a high price okay these two things are independent of each other a highly liquid market basically means a market that is easy to buy or to sell okay that means that there's buyers and that there's sellers and what that actually means is price is stable it doesn't mean it's volatile now price might stabilize for xrp and, and all the it's, 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 let me just assume one thing let's assume that all the money goes into xrp right the market would have to be stable in order for uh, it to be a highly liquid market. Just putting money into XRP doesn't necessarily make it a highly liquid market. Okay, not necessarily. It can do, but it might not. Okay, instead, what you need is you need an active market of buyers and sellers. Buyers and sellers together will drive a highly liquid market. And this basically means that there's going to have to be people who are buying XRP at the same time as people are selling XRP, right? And uh, so that you can match up the buyers and the sellers. So realistically speaking, it's very unlikely that XRP is going to reach the kind of levels that a lot of uh, influencers on, t on Twitter will, will basically, or X, however you want to say that, um, are, are talking about, right? Realistically speaking, you just need a highly liquid market, which means a lot of money will come into XRP market and price will drive up, but it's more than likely not going to break uh, the $589 level, let alone $10,000 level, right? I think there's going to be a nice price discovery for XRP under those circumstances or under the idea that all the money uh, does flow in and all the banks start using XRP, right? If that is the case. But I don't think it's going to be those crazy high numbers that people believe it to be. Um, so a highly liquid market will require 
lots of buyers and lots of sellers at the same pricing. Um, so I, I suspect that we're probably going to find ourselves at a nice level, um, but I wouldn't be getting my hopes up for crazy, crazy level pricing. Now, that's not to say that I wouldn't wouldn't mind it because you know you never know right so it's always great to have exposure um but as a realist and as uh, someone who kind of has a logical and analytical mindset i look for uh, what is the most probable scenario and for now given all the variables and data that we have i'm going to go with 557 to 1121 might be a little bit low to you uh, some people might think that's a little bit too high, um, but ultimately that's kind of where I land with this one. Let me know what your future price predictions are for XRP down in the comments down below. Where do you think it's going in the next bullish market? I'm really interested to kind of canvas all your thoughts and opinions on whether you think it can go higher than $11.21. But don't just give me a price, give me a reason and a rationale behind it. I'm going to leave the video right there though, guys. If you found it useful, smash the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, what you're waiting for, check it out, linked in the description down below. Until the next one though guys, have a fantastic day. We are not financial advisors, none of what we have communicated early or in a writing here should be considered as financial advice. It is not. Do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate offers and understand that investing in any crypto is risky. If you do, you need to be prepared to risk your entire investment. This video is for information and investing advice only. All our videos are strictly personal opinions. Please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit for people. Our videos are not financial advice.